Welcome to the Autosys training video. By the end of this video, you will learn about the quick view capability in Autosys to search for jobs, view job details, and force start a failed job. To enhance the learning experience, we will use an example of a fictitious bank called Hedmeral Bank to demonstrate how and when to use the quick view interface to force start a failed job. Hedmeral Bank relies on Autosys to automate and manage its critical operations such as transaction processing, account updates, and end-of-day reports. Autosys ensures that all jobs run according to their schedules and dependencies, maintaining the smooth operation of the bank's daily activities. One evening, during the end-of-day processing, a critical batch job called Update Account Balances failed due to a temporary database connection issue. This job is essential for ensuring that all account balances are accurately updated before the start of the next business day. The failure of this job threatens to delay the entire processing workflow, potentially impacting the bank's operations and customer satisfaction. To address this challenge, the operator can use the force start action in Autosys to rerun the failed job without waiting for the next scheduled runtime. Before we force start a job, Let's understand how the force start action functions. A job started with the force start action will start immediately. It will not wait for any of its other starting conditions to be satisfied. For a box job, the force start action will start the box job immediately and activate all its child jobs. Each child job within the box job will then run based on their defined conditions, or they will start in parallel if no conditions are specified. You can run multiple instances of the same jobs in parallel. Let's enter our training environment to use the force start action on an existing job. Log in to AutoZeese Web UI and navigate to the Quick View interface to find a job. Under the search section, ensure required Autosys server is selected. Then provide fully or partially qualified job name in the job name field and click go. The search results section will list the job or jobs matching the name entered. To open a job and view its details, click on the required job in the search results section. The job details are displayed under different panels. Let's go through each section. Job details section provides detailed information about the selected job. Job flow section displays selected job and its predecessor and successor jobs. Dependent Jobs section lists jobs that are dependent on the selected job. Starting Conditions section shows the conditions required for the job to start. Job Runs section displays the history of job executions. Finally, from the list of job runs, open one of the standard output logs to view its content. Now, let's force start a failed job. Use the search box to enter the partially qualified job name and find your job. The search results section shows the job and its status. In this case, the status shows it in a failure state. Check the latest job log under the Job Runs panel to identify the root cause of the failure. Log confirms the job failure due to a database connection issue. Resolve underlying issue with the database administrator and ensure that the connection is stable and ready for new connections. Once the underlying issue is resolved, go to the search results section. This has a list of actions. From the drop-down, select the force start action and click on the go button next to it. Click yes in the pop-up message to confirm the job start. Autosys displays the job name and its current status in the search results section. The status icon shows the job in the running status. Refresh the page to view the changed status of the job, which should now be success. By force starting the failed job, the operations team at Hedmeral Bank quickly addresses the issue, preventing delays in the end-of-day processing. Thank you for watching the training video.